Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. In the last video we looked at video speed control or a way to make uh, time lapse videos in Blender or speed them up. Not really slow them down, but more speed them up. In this one we're going to look how to look at how to uh, increase the speed of an audio file so it matches the video. And this has to be done outside of Blender, so you're going to want to go download something uh, that can edit audio files. Uh, Audacity is a great one, it's free and uh, fairly easy to use so we'll we'll look at that right now the first thing you need to do is export your audio clip and that's uh, pretty easy to do in blender you just click your audio strip right here and you're going to go up to render and render audio now it's important that you set this over here to mp3 it'll probably be set to flac first but you're going to play you're going to want to use mp3 because if not you're going to get some weird things coming out but we're gonna export that you can name it whatever you want I do it to the desktop and then you're gonna hit um, mix down now it's gonna pop up and up here in the top and say blenders not responding or whatever it's it's just how it does it I don't know why it always has uh, but you're not gonna get a progress bar or anything you're just gonna have to be patient it doesn't take too long but it does seem like it's going to kill the program but it doesn't okay so it'll eventually click over and you you will have your audio file so we're going to go outside of Blender real quick here. Uh, so I'll get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my audio program open, but there's one thing we need to do first. We're actually going to separate these files a little bit, which isn't a problem at all. Um, actually, we can just get rid of this file because we know that the audio file we bring in is going to be the audio file we're going to use. So we'll delete that. Just hit delete on the keyboard and then hit erase strips. So in the last video, I showed you how to speed up, speed up the video. We're going to do the same thing real fast. I'm not going to talk about it too much. So we'll just go to effect strip, speed control, and we're going to set the speed of this to 5, just like we did in the other tutorial. So there we have the time. we got to find the end of it. We're going to scrub back a little bit with the arrows. Find the end. Back to that. Click the arrow. Shift S to bring it back to where the time frame bar is. Okay, so we're going to go back. I'm going to make this a meta, and we're good to go. So let's go uh, work on the audio file now. Okay, so now that we're in Audacity, we're going to uh, go up to File, Import, Audio, find our MP3 file that we had uh, rendered or exported from Blender. We're going to click on that, Open, and it will import that file. Then we're going to double-click right here on the audio file and go to effect and change speed now it's important to remember what exactly you did in blender with your uh, speed change on your video clip now I know that we did five so all I have to do is double click that and hit five simple enough and just hit OK and then that is done that's completely done all we have to do is go to file export and export it as a waiver in mp3 really doesn't matter We'll just do wave for the sake of this video. Save it, hit OK, and that's pretty much it. So we'll go back into uh, Blender, and we're going to pull in that video file by going to add um, sound, looking for the wave file, because that's when we exported, and hit add sound strip. Now you see that it was short enough and matches up now with what's going on. So uh, I'll try to play the audio here through the speaker so you can hear it with the video clip, clip and see that it matches up. Okay, so um, that might seem kind of useless. I'm not real sure where it would ever be a good idea to use a sped up audio file, but it does work and uh, I hope that this was helpful again still don't see the use for it but we've we've sped up some audio before especially like with a saw sound or something when we're doing a woodworking project um, but that's how you do it you take it out to audacity um, you got to change the speed of it it's a ridiculous workaround to do something that should be simply uh, implemented in blender but this is how you have to do it for now hopefully in the future they'll change it but this will get you by